everyone first of all you need to take almost four pages complete pages of newspapers and start to roll them to make the pipes close the end with the paper tape and then like this you need to make a lot of pipes for each shell I have already cut some thick pieces of cardboard for the shell and I did it by measuring almost one inch difference between the length of each shell Now start to apply hot glue on these pipes and stick them on these pieces of cardboard. This one is the bottom part of the shell. To make smaller and bigger sizes of cardboard you can use the equal size even if you want but I wanted to make it in this shape. Here now cut the rough edges of the newspapers. And like this, prepare all the shelves with the newspaper pipes. And this is how it looks like. I have prepared all the shelves from small to bigger one. So here now I'm going to make the pipes for the shelves, the legs. Here are almost 20 to 30 pages of newspapers I'm using. I will collect them together and I will start to roll them to make the pipes and you can use the cardboard if you want that's much more easy for you but I was not having cardboard so I started to use the newspaper and this one is a small size lengthwise of newspaper uh, because I forgot to film the bigger pipes how I made them so I'm just giving you the demo in this clip how I made these pipes otherwise this one is a small size only which I will not use and then I will cover them secure them with the paper tape if you want it's better to use the cardboard it's much easier here you can see how thick it is how many pages I'm using thick pieces of cardboard pieces are going to be on these sides of the each shelf from where we will make the holes for the pipes to go through Here like this I made the holes and now stick these cardboard pieces on the edges of the shelf. Like this I have prepared all the shelves. And here are the long sides of pipes which I prepared before. Here I will start to put them inside the holes but I will not stick that with glue now. First we will put all the shelves inside the pipes and then we will use the hot glue to stick them on the proper place. Here we, it's now the third one and then we will come the fourth one and when we will stand the shelf we will see if we need to equal the shelves from all sides then we will use the hot glue to stick them on their proper place.
We are about to stand the shell. I fixed the places of each shell and then I started to stick the hot glue between each pipe. And this is how it looks like now. Now I will take some stripes of cardboard pieces and then I will start to stick them under each shell so to keep holding the weight of each other here like this sorry I'm coming in front of camera anyway then I will, you will stick it like this keep rolling it by sticking it with the upper shell so it's supported Here yeah, these square pieces sides we will cut it curvy shape the same cardboard pieces I have stick on the bottom also on the feet of the shelf as well now the shelf became quite stable after using those cardboard pieces under each shelf to support it Now with some more cardboard pieces cover these edges as well and this shelf became very heavy because I used a lot of newspapers rolled pipes and the thick pieces of cardboard so it is going to hold very heavy weight as well. Here I have dark brown acrylic paint and I will cover all the shelf with this paint. You can use this shelf in your kitchen for the spices, for your makeup display or for your jewelry and makeup and for your books even because it's very heavy. So I'm quite happy with the result. And now here I have light brown acrylic paint and I will give it just a shade like this. And if you like my videos please do not forget to subscribe to my channel to support my work and please do not forget at all to click on bell icon to get the notifications of my latest videos here I have a lace and I will use it on each shelf except bottom part And I make these things to use them at my home or to give it to people to use. So I have to make sure that they are stable and durable things. And yes, that's it. Here I just want to show you I am keeping very heavy books on it. These are very thick and very heavy books. The purpose to show you is that it's really stable and heavy shell which can hold the weight. So that's it. I hope you like the video. Please give me a thumbs up, share my videos, subscribe to the channel and click on the like icon. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.